Hey Divine Mommies, welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal Divine Queen and this is my Indigenous Lifestyle. If you are new to my channel, I help black mothers and women to create the birth experience that they truly desire. I also support them during their postpartum phase by providing doula services and using this YouTube channel along with ebooks, blogs, and packages from my website, myindigenouslifestyle.com. I also have an Instagram page. You guys can follow me on as well to get some daily tips and affirmations on how to just be a divine mommy and walk in your my indigenous lifestyle essence. That was a little extra. Okay, <laughs> enough about me. <laughs> Today I'm doing a video that you guys requested. You wanted to know about hand expressing, okay? Me personally, I did not hand express. Not really, not, no. Mm -mm. It just did not feel good and um, my breasts are kind of like sensitive, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't really like all that squeezing and pulling on my breasts and my nipples, you know? Woo, this video is turning a little sexual but um so I never got into it okay but it is beneficial especially for moms who have babies in the NICU or for whatever reason they can't breastfeed their babies right away so let's get into this video about hand expressing So like I said, this is a great tool for moms and babies in the NICU. If for whatever reason the mom is not able to breastfeed right away, hand expressing is the way to go so that your baby can have that first milk whenever they are able to nurse or drink from a bottle. If you don't know about first milk and the stages of breast milk, go ahead and check out my video. But if you do know about it, then you know that when it comes in, it comes in and drops. And if you are pumping with the electric breast pump, then it's really easy to lose those drops of milk. Whereas if you're hand expressing into a little bottle or tube, then it's easier to keep all the milk, you're able to freeze it and thaw it out later on for baby when baby is ready to eat. Breast pumps are wonderful, okay? Especially electric breast pumps. If you had a handheld breast pump, more power to you, baby, because I, I, that, mm -mm, it takes too long. Give me an electric breast pump. Those things are wonderful, but it's nothing compared to your baby sucking on your nipple, okay? The signals that you send your body when your baby is nursing straight from the breast cannot be duplicated when you are using a breast pump. And a breast pump can actually decrease your supply because all the milk is not emptied from your breast when you pump versus when you have a baby, they getting all that milk. And whatever milk is left over, it sends a signal to the body that they're producing too much. You may be pumping just enough milk for your bottle or however many ounces you feel like your baby is eating. But if there is milk left over, even if you're using a pump, you're still sending that signal to the body that it's increasing more. So that's why a lot of moms who use the pump say that they notice a decrease in their supply. All the milk is not getting out from the breast and the breast or the body is producing less milk. A tip for that though is to hand express after you finish pumping, okay? Hand express, get all that milk out of there so you don't send that signal to your body to produce less because you never want to produce less. I, I, I Personally, I would rather send signals to my body to produce more. Because once that supply goes down, it is a pain in the boop to get it back up. You can do it, but it's going to be really hard. So it's pretty easy to do this. All you want to do is put your... <laughs> I'm extra. Okay. All you want to do is position your thumb on top and all your fingers on the bottom. Let's say my nipple is here. You want to be about an inch, maybe an inch and a half away from the nipple. And then think about it like a clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, okay? 
And so what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze the breast, moving your fingers toward the nipple. And milk should let out in little drops. Now, I've seen pictures of women who can squeeze their breasts and the milk just squirt out. That didn't really happen to me. But like I said, this is not really my thing. And I don't like squeezing and pulling and doing all that on my breasts. <laughs> Anyway, you want to be sure to press and roll because otherwise it will hurt. And you could also use both hands if you wanted to and do it like that. They say that you should massage first and then hand express, but get you a lactation consultant, okay? Usually they're right there available if you're giving birth in a hospital. I've had even a, a lactation consultant come out to the house, you know, after I got out of the hospital. There's even classes that you could go to um, just to get help. Not really classes. There's even support groups that they have at the hospital where I live, where a lactation consultant is. You could go in, just a group of moms with their baby, asking questions, getting that one-on-one -on -one help that they need. They are wonderful. But you know, if you have a doula, your doula will also help you with breastfeeding as well as hand expressing. But that is pretty much all that I have to say about hand expressing. There isn't really too much to it. It's not really difficult. It's a great tool to use. Um, if that works for you, if that's what you like. I personally don't like doing it, but that's a personal thing. And I'm just grateful that it wasn't a situation where I had to do it because I probably would have been miserable and in pain, okay? But thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. If you watched this whole video, drop the little pregnant girl emoji in the comments, okay? Because I want to know who is watching my videos all the way to the end, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, join the Divine Family. And I will see you guys on my next video. Peace.